In 1944, the United States Coast Guard establishes a long-range radio navigation system on St. Matthew Island. Twenty-nine reindeer are transported to the island as a backup food source for the station's crew. Within a few months, the station is abandoned. The reindeer are left behind. The island has an abundant supply of lichen, the reindeer's primary food source. With no natural predators, the reindeer breed prolifically. Thirteen years later, a group of researchers return to the island. The reindeer population has grown from 29 to 1,350. Another group visits the island six years after that. The reindeer population has grown from 1,350 to over 6,000. The deer have switched to grazing on sedge grass, as lichen has become scarce on the island. Three years later, another team of researchers comes to the island. Only 42 individuals remain, 41 females and one infertile male. Within months, the reindeer population had crashed over 99%. The deer completely died off soon after. On September 30th, 2011, the Pentagon fell and the military lost all semblance of control. The infection reached its zenith on January 27th, 2013. Like the reindeer on St. Matthew Island, the infected are at the whim of their environment. The human body can go 25 weeks without food at the most. After a certain point, every population hits a dead end. On March 3rd, 2013, the infected hit theirs.